Solar panels break all the time. But it's probably not the solar panels that's breaking. It's probably a small piece of hardware. The one thing you need is an internet connection to your solar panels. If there is a major failure in the system, a panel's broken, an optimizer, an inverter, any of the more expensive parts break. If you don't have a internet connection to your system, you won't know that's broken. You won't know when it's broken and you won't know like what to fix or anything, you have no information. What I recommend to everybody is to hardwire their system with an ethernet. Most inverter systems will have a spot that you can plug in an ethernet cable and then you can run that in to your network, plug it into your um, router or your local network and that inverter will communicate with the servers through that internet cable. So there's a lot of different devices out there. You have cell kits and you have also Wi-Fi kits that can be installed on the inverter so you can have cellular communication or communicate through your Wi-Fi. I see this happen all the time. People move, people change internet providers, things get unplugged, data runs out. You only have a limited amount of communication with your solar panels with that form. The best way to do it is just to make your system hardwired. This inverter had a problem and needed to be replaced. There was a warranty, so it is covered. All that the customer needs to pay for me is labor. Um, but the problem was, is because this inverter was not connected to the internet, the manufacturer did not know the problem was them and immediately pointed their finger to me. I had to uninstall and reinstall the entire system, fix all the connections, do a ton of testing, replace a part until the manufacturer knew none of the problems was me and then offered up a replacement part. So that inverter's coming in the mail, I'm gonna swap it out and that's gonna be done. But the only problem is, is if this inverter was connected to the internet, we would have known it was broken a year ago and we would have known what was broken because the inverter has a log with air logs and it reports what the actual problem is. Thank you for watching this channel. I hope this was helpful information. Please subscribe right here or check out some other videos and playlists right here that might be helpful.